My dream, even before starting medical school, was to become an ophthalmologist to help patients preserve their vision or regain vision. When I was in medical school and I was applying for ophthalmology residencies, I knew we had a lot of programs around the country and all of them were really great, but Wilmer definitely stood out as the best among the best. It was my first choice and when I was accepted here I was really ecstatic and really thrilled about the opportunity to work with the great doctors here and to be someone who trained at this wonderful place. Like every morning when I wake up and I'm like, oh, today I'm going to glaucoma clinic, it's like excited to get out of bed and get to work. And they, you know, you know you'll have a good time, you'll learn a lot, and they'll get you engaged, and you, you know you're going to become a good doctor if you're like them. They're really an inspiration in how they take care of their patient and how accessible they are to their patients, and their dedication to teaching is unsurpassed. Residency is Unlike previously, when we were basically in the lecture room learning about basic diseases, finally when we get to residency, we feel like we're real doctors, get to see patients and make some decisions about how to treat them, all the while being guided by the expert faculty at your residency program, right, Wilmer. And so we, at ophthalmology, we have three years of training in eye diseases and eye surgery. And we rotate through the glaucoma division during our second year of residency. So we've already had some clinical and surgical experience and that makes it all the more valuable to work with our faculty in the glaucoma division with having some background in that. So one of the features of the experience with the glaucoma faculty, the education in the glaucoma division here, is these small group discussions that we have. Um, one Thursday morning is dedicated for us, uh, for a few residents at a time, so three or four residents, to sit down with one of the glaucoma faculty and discuss cases of glaucoma patients who have been seen by the faculty. In the glaucoma division, we get our lectures and um, we have these interactive modules that we do online, learning to evaluate the nerve in the back of the eye, the optic nerve, and look at the angle, which is the drainage system of the eye, and to interpret some of the tests that the glaucoma doctors get for their patients. We can do them sort of on our own time, the weekend when we're free, or you know, without the pressures of having to see patients or clinical duties. And you can go back and rewind and redo the part that you didn't, you missed or you didn't quite catch. And it's um, very different from how we used to do things, which was where we'd go to a lecture hall and sit there for an hour while someone gave us a presentation. This is much more interactive and definitely everyone who's taken part in it really thinks this is a great format and is um, really beneficial to our education. Well, I think when a patient's seen by a resident or a fellow, they get a very thorough evaluation. The resident can take as much time as he or she wants to examine the patient and get the history. So you, they take the time to figure out every detail and every bit of the history, which usually ends up being a great benefit for the patient because some small thing that happened in the past that's relevant comes up during that extended interview that the resident has the time to perform. It's an extra pair of eyes that looks at the patient and catches what's going on. Ever since I was a child, I've been a perfectionist. Even in dance classes, I had to make sure that every step was in rhythm and just perfect. And at Wilmer, I've finally found my niche where everyone seeks perfection and everything has to be taken care of or it's not good enough.